in this video, I intend to show you how to wire a three-phase manual changeover switch. Okay, so the purpose of the changeover switch is to serve as a point where you can switch between two different electrical supplies to supply your load. All right, and so basically, before the use of the changeover comes in, then it means you have a main supply, and then you also have a standby supply. So the changeover serves as a means of switching from the main supply to the standby supply in case there is power outage. In this video, I have two different panels here. I have panel one and I have panel two. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use one of the panels as my main source of electrical supply to my wiring and then the second one will serve as my standby electrical supply. In case the main supply goes off, then I will switch to the standby supply. And so that is what I have here. I have my main electrical supply. And then I also have one that is coming from my standby supply. Okay. Um, I want to quickly comment that this video is for demonstration purposes where you have to know technically how to wire the change over switch to the main switch that supplies your various loads in the installation. So I'll be using brown as my line one and I'll use this yellow. It's actually yellow and green, but I'm going to use it as my line two. Then I'll use blue as line three and then I'll use black as neutral. Then in the second supply also the same thing is happening all right so i have tpn supply that is three phase and neutral to the three phase change over switch all right so the change over switch has three different sections we have one we have two and then we have the third part here all right so here we'll take one of the incoming supply so let's say our main supply from the supply authorities will come here. Then the supply from our standby generator will also come here. Then the output that will go out to our consumer unit to supply the various loads will be taken from this point. All right, so before we connect our cables, we have to gently remove the screens. We have one here have another one here then there is also one at the out let's remove all of them okay so I remove the screens now we do our connections All right, so now we have our two three-phase supplies connected to the changeover switch. All right, so now we are going to the output, and that one is here. Okay, so we are going to use the same sequence. So we connect blue out, yellow out, brown out, and then neutral out. But in this um, demonstration, we have single-phase consumer unit, and so we are going to pick one line and then neutral from the output to supply our installation okay so i'm using black and then brown out all right and this is red for brown 
Okay, so for safety, we have to put back the screens. This one. Second one. And then. Third one. Okay. All right, so. Let's go to our consumer unit. All right, Come back to cover. Okay, so. This is on. This is on. So as I said earlier, we have a main source of supply, then we have a standby supply. This is our three-phase changeover switch. This is actually the rotary tie. Then we have our main switch. This is a single phase consumer unit and so we are taking only a line and then neutral to the supply if this is a three-phase consumer unit then we will be taking all three lines with the neutral to the consumer unit we have one line and then one switch so this is our load all right so let's go so first of all this is our main supply i'm going to switch this our main supply on and then and this is what we will use to switch. So at this point, it is off. So let's say the first one here, we have on here, and then we have another on here. But this is on one, and this is on two. Okay, so this is our main supply. And so now I have switched the change over to the main supply and our main supply is now on so obviously um, we are going to get an output to our load okay so when we operate the switch our load should work all right so now we are getting supply from the main power our main supply okay now if there is an outage we will need to fall on the standby supply to supply our load. And so in that case, switch the changeover to a standby supply. Switch on our standby supply. So now main supply is off and then we are falling on the standby supply. And so we have to switch our changeover to the second supply, which is the standby supply, and then our load uh, still works. Right. Thank you very much for watching this video. In my next video, I'll bring you how to wire a semi-automatic changeover switch, uh, especially for those who use smaller generators. The semi-automatic changeover switch works in a way that when your main supply is off, the moment you switch on your standby supply, the changeover switch switches automatically to supply power to your load. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe to stay connected for my upcoming videos. Thank you.